Keeping your pancreas healthy is essential for maintaining a healthy body. It is a small and rarely thought about organ. The only time it gets attention is when it's being studied in biology class or when it's causing some distress. Your pancreas is an organ behind your stomach that helps with your digestion. Your pancreas plays an important role in your body, producing enzymes that helps digest food and hormones that help regulate glucose levels in your blood. A damaged pancreas prevents your body from absorbing nutrients. Damage to your pancreas could make it dysfunctional, either partially or completely. And this condition in no way can be good for your health. But what if I told you that you can keep your pancreas in a good state of health by eating certain foods? Consume cruciferous vegetables like Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, cabbage, and broccoli because of their high nutritional content. Sour foods like lemon can improve the production of digestive enzymes in your body. In the end, keeping your pancreas in a good state of health. Regular consumption of the fruit kiwi can also have the same effect. Oregano is an herb that is popular for its distinct flavor that it can give to your food. It is very effective treatment for the oxidation caused by diabetes. These properties of oregano can prevent insulin from any damage to your organ. Drinking dandelion tea can help flush out toxins from your intestines and can heal a damaged pancreatic tissue. Garlic also acts as a major help for the pancreas. It reduces the amount of sugar in your body by increasing the insulin production by the pancreas. If you would like to, you can try drinking garlic tea once a day. Lifestyle factors such as a diet high in processed carbohydrates and synthetic ingredients can damage your pancreas and over time limit its function. Having a healthy pancreas can help lower blood sugar and reduce insulin resistance among other benefits. So I will go over some additional tips on how to keep your pancreas healthy and how to lower blood sugar and reduce insulin resistance. Number one, keep a healthy body weight by exercising regularly. Exercise lowers blood sugar levels and reduces insulin resistance, thus helping to keep your pancreas healthy. Number two, avoid processed food, especially those with lots of sugar or sodium. Processed foods are high in calories, which can lead to overeating and obesity that may damage your pancreas. Eat more whole foods that have fiber instead of processing them into products such as bread, pasta, and other white flour based products. Number three, limit your intake of dairy products. Dairy products are often high in sugar and can damage the pancreas. Number four, eat breakfast every morning. Studies have shown that consistently skipping breakfast increases your risk of diabetes, heart disease, and other chronic and serious conditions. Number five, drink plenty of water. Your body needs water to function properly, which includes helping the pancreas to produce enzymes. It is important to keep your pancreas healthy. It is important to consider what you eat and how often. People who have not yet developed diabetes, but who are at risk of developing it, can do these things to reduce the risk of developing this condition. If a person is already diabetic, they can reduce the effects of diabetes by following these tips. A few examples include eating more protein and replacing refined flour with whole grain flour on a daily basis. Nourish your body with more of the foods that are healthy for you. This could include adding in protein, fruit and vegetables, or even a multivitamin to your daily routine. Protein is essential for muscle growth and repair. So aim to get at least one to two grams of protein per pound of body weight each day or 30 grams per day. This includes proteins like whey, egg white, beef, and chicken. Also, juicing has become increasingly popular as a method of boosting your intake of certain fruits and vegetables to obtain the nutrition they need. Spinach, cherries, blueberries, and whole grains can work to protect your digestion and fight the free radicals that damage your organs. So if you are craving something sweet, Reach for fruit instead of added sugars, since those with pancreatitis 
are at high risk for diabetes. Consider eating cherry tomatoes, hummus, cucumbers, and fruit as your go to snacks. Your pancreas will thank you. But if you're trying to combat pancreatitis, avoid trans fatty acids in your diet. Fried or heavily processed foods like french fries and fast food hamburgers are some of the worst offenders. Potato chips, full fat dairy, organ meats, and mayonnaise top the list of foods to limit. Deep fried foods might trigger a flare up of pancreatitis. You will also want to cut back on refined flour found in cakes, cookies, and pastries. These types of food can tax your digestive system. By causing your insulin levels to spike. Remember, always check with your doctor or dietitian before changing your eating habits when you have pancreatitis. Eat between six and eight small meals throughout the day to help recover from pancreatitis. This is easier on your digestive system than eating two or three large meals. Use MCTs, which can be found in coconut oil, as your primary fat. Since this type of fat does not require pancreatic enzymes to be digested, avoid eating too much fiber at once, as this slows digestion and results in less than ideal absorption of nutrients from food. Fiber may also make your limited amount of enzymes less effective. You may also take a multivitamin supplement to ensure that you're getting the nutrition that you need. And sometimes it's just best to rest your pancreas and limit your food intake. Instead, drink clear liquids such as apple, cranberry, or white grape juice. Gelatin and soup broth is great too. Try implementing some of these steps into your diet to help you with the health of your pancreas.